Welcome back. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about the difference between dressing up and dressing well. This is actually going to be a two-part video um, because there's another segment of this that I'm going to talk about in just a separate video. But today, this video, I want to talk a little bit about the difference between when we want to dress up and we just need to dress well for the day. Dressing up is one of those things that I know a lot of people can't be bothered to do. Um, I know many years ago I was invited to a wedding and I looked at the invitation and it said it was a black tie affair and I was like, I don't even own a gown. And when I contacted the bride's mother, she said, no, it's not a black tie affair. They just did that so that people would dress up. And unfortunately, that's the way it is a lot now because people just can't be bothered to dress up. And we do have some functions that are more formal than others, like weddings and uh, some social functions that sometimes you have to attend. So of course, this outfit is more on the dressing up end of it. Pretty jewelry, a lovely dress, and what I did to kind of uh, ramp this up just a little bit is I included wearing these beautiful thigh highs. Uh, what I really like about them is that the holdups themselves are very, it's a very high holdup and does a really good job of keeping the thigh high on the leg. But this particular pair also is a pair that has the, uh, they're almost like an RHT type of thing. They have a, um, a back seam on the back here. And um, this whole look can kind of take what's a really a very formal, beautiful dress and just even take it up to another level. Add a pair of beautiful pumps. You don't even need anything too fancy. A classic pointy high pump really seems to do the job here. And you add the jewelry and, and you're good to go. Now this is not necessarily dressing well. On my board over here, I have a sign that says, if in doubt, overdress. And the reason for that is that sometimes you really go somewhere and you don't know how anybody is dressing. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about what to do in that situation and how to dress well. So dressing well doesn't necessarily mean dressing up. Um, it's just maybe you have a less formal um, event to go to. Maybe um, you've been working hard all day and um, it's time to go out and maybe have some dinner or have lunch with someone and you just want to kind of kick it up a notch. Or maybe you're just invited to a, uh, an informal cocktail party, but then the problem becomes you don't know what anybody's going to wear. So you could always, you could always opt to just wear jeans and run the risk that no one else is dressing up, or you could dress in something that's a lot less formal than the other dress that I just had on. This is such a comfortable little throw on dress. Just wear some easy jewelry. Um, if you want to choose hosiery, you could wear some very easy, uh, suntan pantyhose. And I chose to wear these, uh, camo type high heels. And if you realize that maybe everybody is kind of more dressed down than dressed up, um, you could opt for a, a lower kitten heel such as this, this heel, which is still goes really cute with the dress. Um, but you might feel just not quite so dressed up. And the dress is adorable. It has these little pockets here. It's easy to wear. Um, it looks great with the heels. It looks even great with a pair of flats because, um, as I like to say in my sign here, um, if in doubt, overdress. You could always throw that pair of flats or lower heels, or even if you have a little bit too much jewelry on, you can take some of the jewelry off and just feel like you're not quite as dressed up. Um, but to be honest, I... I would rather be just a little overdressed and I'm still comfortable feeling that way even, even if everybody else is in jeans. It's, it's okay. It's really just a matter 
of being yourself, right? So my next video in part two, I'm going to expound just a little bit on this idea of dressing well. So please make sure that you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and then you'll know when the next video is coming and all the rest of my videos because I'm, I'm gearing up for those 12 days of Christmas. It will be here before you know it. So as always, thanks for watching.